Okay, I'm gonna show you how to fix a working dishwasher. First, you gotta pull it out from under there. Sorry, my house is a mess because we haven't been able to wash the dishes in here. So, I don't know what model this is, but it's a cheap Whirlpool. If you wanna hook it up, it's probably gonna be under your sink. That's where you're gonna unplug and plug it in. Take out those screws. This will allow you to pull the washer out. Just like that. Take them all the way out. Okay. Down at the bottom, put a butter knife in and turn it. Pops right out. Then you're gonna take off that panel. Okay. To disconnect this thing, sorry if it's blurry. And it's gonna be hard for me to do it with one hand, but I wanna show you how to do it real quick. Then, you're gonna to wanna to pinch those. So you see now I have it off, right? This can be easier for you because you're not gonna be recording. So after that, you're gonna to wanna to pull that off. That guy right there, pull it that way, that way. This guy, that way. So that's now out. Make sure your hose is long enough so you can keep pulling, just like I am here. And then you're gonna tilt your dishwasher backward just like that and you're going to come under your dishwasher and if you can lay it flat make sure that you're not crushing any of the stuff in the back on the very back it's flat so there's nothing there that i'm going to mess up i can safely lay it backward check yours okay dishwasher is now laying on its back come down here this is where your problem is right here still dripping a little water this is where your problem is, right here. If it's not spraying, this is your problem. So what you're gonna wanna do, you see this clip here? Turn it clockwise. Hopefully you can see this. Because if you can, I'm not gonna do it over and over. You're gonna wanna push this forward here and then turn this just like that. Do you guys see that? Fill some more water. So what? Mop. And your problem is right in here. That's your problem. Right in here. Okay? Because there's going to be gunk and all kinds of stuff in there. And that's what happened to mine. So after I cleaned that out, I hooked it back up and boom, it starts working. Okay? This is for people that are having problems with no spray okay so watch this so then you can pull this right apart like this it's just a magnet that holds it all right but this isn't the problem none of this you don't even have to take it apart i did and i cleaned in here i cleaned all this stuff in here but it didn't need to be cleaned your problem once again was right in here there's all kinds of gunk that gets stuck in here that's where you need to clean okay once you clean it then you put it back on. It's a little tricky to put it back on, but don't fret, don't stress. You'll get it back on. Okay, here we go. Here's how we're gonna put it back on. You're gonna put it right like this. See that right there? It's gotta go on that side and you're gonna push up. You gotta clear right there. Sorry, you gotta clear right there. That's gotta line up and it's gotta line up back there too. You don't have to worry about that side. Worry about this side here, watch that. You're gonna push it up and you're gonna turn, you're gonna hear a click. There, it's back on. And you're done. After you're done, put this hose back to that. You're gonna connect it till it looks like that. And watch this. Check it out now. Squaring like a ball.